Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as Driver Drowsiness Detection System Using Image Processing, which is an enhancement of the IEEE title Lightweight CNN Based Driver I State Surveillance for Smart Vehicles, which is an IEEE 2023 transaction paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that in all over the world, the traffic accidents are causing more deaths. So there are various reasons for the road accidents. One of the major reason is the driver drowsiness. So the driver may sleep due to the drowsiness caused when he is driving the vehicle. So to identify that there are various systems are being proposed and uh, here in the base paper the authors have used a uh, small real-time phase detector named nano yolo 5 phase and also they have used cnn architecture and kindly note that we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about our proposed system so as mentioned the our proposed title is driver drowsiness detection using image processing so here we are going to use uh, to machine learning model that is KNN, K nearest neighbor and random forest classifier. So these two classifier will be using and after that one of the important thing is like we'll be calculating the fusion score. So the KNN will be giving a score and also a random forest will be giving a score. So we'll be combining both the score and we will be calculating the fusion score. So based on the fusion score we will be giving the result. So before the making the calculation, there are various phases available. So first thing is like the image uh, is being given and there will be some pre-processing like the gray grayscale conversion will be made and also the eye detection will be done. After the eye detection is done, the iris segmentation and extraction process will be done. And after that, uh, the, the feature extraction will be done using the DCT and SUR of that is discrete cosine transform is called DCT and for uh, surface like speeded up robust feature. So this will be applied uh, on the images and the features extraction will be done. After that finally the uh, KNN classifier will be applied and random forest classifier will be done. And finally we will be applying our uh, innovative concept that is fusion score and calculating the uh, the drowsiness whether it is uh, or the eyes is open or it is closed so this is all the things that is mentioned in our our proposed abstract so coming to the existing system as mentioned the base paper is considered the existing system so in the base paper they have used the cnn model so we have we, we mentioned about the details of the existing system using the cnn model and these advantages the existing system is being listed out here and coming to the proposed system as mentioned we'll be using the matlab and knn and random for us so there are various uh, phases and modules so uh, those details have been given detailed as mentioned by earlier and coming to the advantage of the proposed system so we have listed the advantage of the proposed system and another thing i have uh, forgotten to mention that so we have achieved the accuracy rate of 97 percentage in it so this is our uh, achieved accuracy rate and uh, coming to the system architecture so as mentioned the first uh, model is be image acquisition after that the pre-processing will be done after that image that is the iris segmentation is done after that feature extraction using dct and surf will be been after that the i state classification will be done so this is our system architecture and coming to the modules part so what all the things that is mentioned that is given in the modules and these are the module descriptions so these are the module description of the project and finally we'll see the system requirements with the hardware and software requirements as mentioned we'll be using matlab for coding part and tool is matlab or 2023b so this is the reference of the base paper that we have used so now let us see the execution of the project so just open the source code folder full coding in that 
first thing before execution there is an excel file so first to open that excel file and check whether it is in a readable format so here you can see this is in a protected view so in case if it is protected view while executing the values will not be stored here so just click this enable editing and save it so that it will be enabled for editing so the data can be stored in it so now you can see it is in enabled for editing so first let me copy this source code location now open matlab or 2023b so here just in the url the address bar just paste the url that we have copied and click enter so now you can see the Oh, the all the complete code is loaded in the left side panel so here in the final.m just click this final.m and then right click it and then click run so kindly wait for a few seconds so now you can see the GUI of the project with the project title driver drowsiness detection system using image processing the first step as mentioned is the image acquisition just click this read image so now there are some test image folders. Just go to the test image. So there are few test image folders. Now let me show you one by one. So now let me click this uh, image. So here you can see the test image and click continue next. So next is the pre processing step where the, the image will be converted to grayscale. So click, click the grayscale conversion. You can see the grayscale image. Next thing is like eye detection. So just click this eye detection. So now you can see the eyes are detected and here you can see the cropped eyes images and left eye and the right eye part. Next click continue. So the third step is segmentation. So here iris segmentation extraction will be done. So just click this iris segmentation extraction. So it takes some time for iris segmentation extraction kindly wait till that so now you can see the iris segmented image and the iris masked image here and you can see the iris detected image here and next is the iris extracted image so now let click next continue so come to the fourth step that is feature extraction using dct feature just click this dct feature you can see the dct feature extraction and final is the surf feature so just click the surf feature so you can see the surf feature detection the final step is the classification so as intimated there will be two classifier knn and random for us and the final is the fusion score of both so just click this classification so now you can see the classified result is uh, the classified result for the KNN is predicted as 1 so 1 means it is I is open so here random for us also printed the same so the fusion score is 1 so here you can see the final classified result I is normal able to drive it and uh, here there are few graphs you can see this ROC curve analysis and here you can see the performance result. so these two are manually plotted because we have not used more images for the data set part and test data so only we have used only uh, three persons images so we have plotted it manually only so it is not based on the calculation so here you can see the ROC curve analysis which contains the true positive rate and the false positive rate which is manually plotted and here you can see the performance analysis which contains accuracy, pre accuracy precision recall and specificity value so now let me close this uh, and now let me run it again to check with the other case so now let me read the image and go to the test image let me select the same person with the different eye state so here you can see the person eye state is not completely closed it is somewhat close let me check the result so just click continue so now let me go for the grayscale conversion eye detection part let me go to the next part of the iris segmentation and extraction so now you can see the result of the iris segmented image iris mask image iris detected image iris extracted image and click continue 
and you can see the DCT feature and serve features for the image that we are given and let us see the classification so result so you can see the classification result uh, for the KNN is 0 and printed uh, classify for the RF is also 0 the fusion score is 0 so the I is dr drowsy so here you can see the final result I is drowsy and unable to try so now uh, the you can see in the train images there are only a uh, three percent image so we have tested with the uh, trained with this one only these images so if you wanted to add your own image you can do it but only one thing is like the image see the image size should be uh, in this dimension that is 3120 into 4160 so if it is in this dimension with the good clarity and the image uh, should be like this so in the uh, from the head to the neck neck part of the shoulder part which, which should be very clarity with the eyes or is the if you are using small image or if the image is not clarity the iris segmentation part throws some error on it so make sure that you are having this image so now let me show you with how to do that one also now let us check with the own images so now i have taken two selfies with my mobile so this is the one this is the other one so one with the open eyes and other with the closed eye so here in the desktop you can see the two files so first let us check the size so you can see the dimension is okay so the both the dimension are okay so now let us check the with the own data so here in the project data set uh, on the in the coding on the test images you can see there is no my images and also in the train images you can see there is no my images so now let us check with the other image that is not available so now first let me click the read image and go to the desktop and let us select the first image so this is the image i have selected so there is somewhat quality is okay but when you are taking make sure that you have good quality because as i said the image size should be in the correct big dimension and also clarity should be good and also uh, the size of the image with the good dimension if it is not in the iris segmentation part it throws some error so now let us go to the next part gray scale conversion eye detection so the eyes are detected continue so this is the important part so here uh, iris segmentation if it the image size or the uh, view is not correct it throws some error so now let us check with our case so it has processed successfully so it is correct and let us go to the continue and go to the dct feature so feature and finally let us classify the result and check it out so now you can see the image which i have given is i is normal and able to drive with the classified again and with the predicted score of one or of is one and fusion score is also one so now with the same let us check with the other case that i have taken go to the desktop select the second image <coughs> so this is the image i have taken and continue go for great cell conversion eye detection continue go for the segmentation process with the iris segmentation extraction process and continue and go for the dct feature so feature and classify the result so now you can see the result is classified with by the knn as predicted score zero and r of it zero and fusion score is zero and now final result is classified i is drowsy and unable to drive so in this way you can check with your own images also but as i said the conditions that it should be the correct dimension on the quality of the picture so in this way you can check it out so in the test image i'll show you with the final case go to the test image i'll select a image of this continue grayscale conversion eye detection continue iris segmentation continue 
DCD feature so feature classification results okay and then it's classified as one random for as one fission score is one unable to no uh, drive the i is a normal state this is classified final result so in this way you can check with the results and this is all about the project driver drowsiness detection system using image processing using matlab and thank you for watching